on your camera. Now, Kim Hak Sun, our Dean of International Affairs, will give you a welcome speech. Professor Kim Hak Sun. Professor Kim Hak Sun will give you a welcome speech. Okay, hello everyone. Hi, Professor. Hello. Okay, welcome to Gyeongsang University, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce briefly for you. My name is Aksung Kim, Dean of International Affairs, and currently I am teaching the class named uh, Service Management. And also, I am um, interested in the conducting my research regarding the tourism big data stuff. So that's all. That's me. And welcome. And I will do my best to, to help you and you guys are supposed to be happy, especially from the Nepal, Bangladesh, Uzbekistan, extra. You guys are very valuable for Gyeongsang University. And thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. I don't have uh, any kind of uh, content, so but I have uh, uh, kind of my uh, religious thing. So let me pray for you. That's all. Uh, okay, let's pray. Pray, dear Lord. I pray for my students who are stepping into a new life and new university in this year. I pray you will help them with all of the things of getting online classes, meeting professors, setting up financial aid, and getting moved into house in Korea. Surround them with good friends. Yeah, I mean, we will challenge them to work more closely yeah, with the class. Help them to work hard, to study no, well, no, no, no. and to use this no, challenge no. to develop skills and gifts for global civility. Give them courage <laughs> to follow academic integrity and to glorify the world. I pray in the name of the Jesus. Amen. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, so do I need to go forward? Okay, uh, let me introduce our faculty members. First of all, uh, let me get started with uh, having the professors from Global Business Administration. So everyone, can you mute your microphone? This sounds very weird now. Okay, so Professor Yi jun -sop, can we have your self-introduction for student and with a welcoming message? Okay, uh, my name is jun Sobi. I'm uh, teaching management information uh, business statistics and congratulations and welcome. It is my great pleasure to welcome our new students. I hope you take care of yourself here in this pandemic situation and enjoy your life here as a university student. I wish you a fruitful and rewarding students experience during your stay here in Gyeongsang University. Again, congratulations and welcome. Thank you, Professor Lee jun -sub. Professor Lee jun -sub is a uh, uh, director for the uh, majoring in global business administration. And do we have a, a Professor Hussein here? Yes. Okay. Uh, first Hussein. of all, first of all, a very warm good afternoon to all of you, and very congratulations for entering in the Kyungsung University. My name is Professor Hussein, and I'm professor here in Department of Global Business Administration in Kyungsung University. Uh, my best wishes and best hopes for all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Professor. Okay, and next, uh, uh, Professor Lucas. 
Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Kyungsha University. Uh, I'm very happy to meet you here online. I, I hope we are going to meet face to face soon. So I, I wish you success and uh, uh, achievements in your uh, education in the coming four or five years. And thank you. Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you, Professor. Thank you Lucas. so much. And yeah, let me move to the Professor Jessica. Do we have a Jessica here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Oh, uh, finally, I got you here. <laughs> yeah, I, I finally fixed my camera issues. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, I'd like to welcome you all to Kyungsung University. It is my utmost wish that eventually we can meet face to face. But for now, it'll have to be through Zoom. Uh, thank you one more time and welcome everyone to Kyungsung University. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> and do you have a, a Professor Wang? Professor Wang Ju? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Hello, everyone. Warmly welcome again for our new student here. And this is Jim Wang. And it is quite great for here to be with you together and help you enjoy your young life and realize your dream in our council university. Okay, thank you. And as the thank last, uh, we have a Professor Javier from Jambu. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our university. I want to congratulate all of you for this achievement in your life, getting into Johnson University, and we will meet forward very soon in our classes. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you, Professor Xavier. And me, I'm the Hak Sung Kim, and as I said, I'm teaching the service management. Uh, welcome, everyone. And next, uh, Professor Sandy, who is my favorite faculty here. Yes, thank you, Professor Kim uh, Dean. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandy Kyunghwa Nam Jo. Uh, my Korean name is Nam Kyunghwa. I'm a Korean American. I've been teaching in Gyeongsang in the past three years in the Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management. It's really great to meet all of you. And there's a saying in Korea. I mean, in Korea, we consider alumni as a family member. So just because we, we go to same school, yes, you guys all become brothers and sisters. So I hope you enjoy the college life in Gyeongsang University. Of course, we don't come to school uh, at this moment, but hopefully in the near future, all of you will come to our beautiful campus and enjoy the life in Gyeongsang University. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Professor Nam. And Nathaniel. Hey, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Paul, and I guess I'm not the favorite. <laughs> I am a professor in the Department of Global Hospitality Management or Hospitality and Tourism Management. So I just want to say welcome and congratulations on your achievement of gaining admission to our university. And I really hope that we can meet one another in the classroom soon. So good luck with everything and welcome to our university. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thanks. Professor Alicia. Hello everyone, um, good afternoon professors and uh, welcome to all our new students. We are very delighted to have you and um, we are all here to help you on your journey through Pyeongsong and we hope that you will all be successful. And I also hope that we will also get to meet inside the classroom very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Professor Alicia. Thank you. And uh, we have a Professor Helena Ban. Yes, hello everyone. Good afternoon. And my Korean name is actually Ban Hyunjung, but it's hard to pronounce, so you guys can call me Helena. And I am so happy to see you everyone in here. And welcome to our fabulous university, which is like Gyeongsang University. And my major is like hospitality management. And yeah, one day we will meet face to face. So maybe be patient. Maybe you are not going to enjoy at the moment, but we are going to have that enjoyment soon. So thank you. Okay, so let's move to the uh, Professor Arumigon. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I guess I'm not the favorite either because this is my first semester at Gyeongsang University. Uh, I've been living and working and studying in Korea for 16 years. 
So if you have any questions about university life, if you need anything, do not hesitate to drop by. Uh, I look forward to meeting you and uh, congratulations once again on embarking on this exciting journey. Have a great day. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. And we have a mechatronics engineering uh, subject majoring. And I think we have a Sureshi here, right? Professor Sureshi? Yeah. Okay, okay Professor Sureshi. Yeah, uh, hello, students. Uh, welcome to Kimson family. I'm Professor Suresh, and I've been working here since 2012 and a pretty long time. And I teach mechatronics engineering subjects like mechanical related subjects uh, uh, like CAD and all. And uh, <clears throat> once again, uh, welcome. And uh, I hope you will have a great future. But unfortunately, we cannot meet uh, this time because it's this pandemic. But I hope in near future, we will meet face to face. And if we meet face to face, it's more convenient to teach and all. But uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Professor you Sureshi. And let's move to the Professor Rao. I think we miss Professor Rao. And do we have a Professor Alai here? Professor, yeah, hello. Yeah, prof professor, I'm here. Okay, yeah, I'm Professor Rao. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm very sorry. Yeah, dear students, first of all, uh, like uh, greetings for the day to everyone. So I welcome you all for our beautiful school. So I'm Professor Rao. I'm going to teach some of the electrical and electronics based subjects and also teaching some of the few elective courses. So I already share my email ID and phone number to you. So if you have any doubts regarding my course or anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. So I want to give one suggestion to you. So from now, please study for yourself and for your bright future. Because your parents are not here, so they are not going to monitor you for all the times. So you have to study for yourself and for your bright future. I hope and I pray that you will get success in your studies and make your parents proud. Of course, we also feel very happy. We want to see your success and that will be our proud moment. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And now, uh, do we have an ally, Professor Ally here? No? Okay, then let's move to the Professor Andrew. Okay. Hello, student. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Gyeongsong University. Uh, hope you all are fit and fine. And my name is Andrew, and I teach in mechatronics department. Um, I hope everyone can take this opportunity to continue your study responsibly and enjoy studying here. So I hope to, to see you soon through live session or face to face. And again, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Professor Andrew. Okay, so this is uh, all of our faculty members uh, uh, today's participants. So, uh, Alice, what do I do now? Hello, Dean. I think you missed me. Oh, sorry, Professor Kalima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why I remained as the last one, as a star, right? <laughs> no, no. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dean, for not missing me out. But uh, that's the attitude that we want. You know, if something happens and you were not called, please have that kind of uh, initiative to go for like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and that's uh, one thing that we want you to cultivate in yourself. My name is Geoffrey. You can just uh, simply call me PJ, uh, short for uh, Professor Geoff. And I also came to Korea like uh, two decades now, uh, like in 2002, that's uh, World Cup. I was once an international student like you. So if you have any um, curiosity about uh, the ins and outs of Korea or anything that about your future, let me know. And as other professors have said, um, we are here as your mentor. 
as uh, your uh, friend, probably. And uh, Professor uh, Joe said, we are your family. Alumni means uh, once you are part of Kyongsung University, you'll always be part of university. Another professor mentioned about uh, your parents. Be proud of your parents because you come this far. The things that you do in your life, you will not regret if you do your best. They said the 90% is luck, 10% is your uh, hard work. Uh, it's up to you just to, to believe in, in either. But the thing is, you will regret if you, if you never did your best. But then, aim high. This is a new semester, a new beginning. There's something in store for everyone. So please find that something, the spot in this world for you to succeed. Again, welcome to Kyungsung University. Be proud of Kyungsung University. Have a nice day. And thank, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Professor, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Professor Thank I you. think now we here? have a Professor Alai here. Yes, are you hearing me now? Yes, uh, Alai, can you <laughs> yes. say something for our students? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the uh, Kyungsang University. I would like to uh, uh, say my warm greeting uh, to you for selecting the university, Kyungsang University. This is Dr. Alai. I am working uh, in mechatronics department of Kyungsang University. I have been uh, starting my working since 2017. My major is electrical engineering. I am focusing on power electronics and circuit design, but I'm always uh, teaching some courses for the elective courses. Some, uh, some of courses are elective courses. So if you have any elective courses during your education in this university, please uh, don't hesitate to send me your request. Again, congratulations for coming to this university and have a good day. Thank you, Professor Lai. Thank you. Uh, we have English track. At the same time, we have a Korean track. Uh, so, uh, 이제 한국말로 한국 학 전공 학생들을 환영하는 어, 코멘트를 하겠습니다. 김지영 교수님. 안녕하세요. 김지영입니다. 네, 어, 많은 교수님들께서 좋은 말씀을 해주셨는데요. 어, 저도 역시 여러분들 어, 환영하고 여러분들이 한국의 부산에 와서 잘 적응하고 어, 정착해서 어, 여러분들이 한국에 오기 전에 세운 여러 가지 계획들을 잘 성취할 수 있기를 어, 바랍니다. 어, 네, 여러분 환영하고요. 에이, 모두 반갑고요. Yeah, I knew <웃음> most of you are English track student, but I found I found some uh, Korean track student here, so I wanna yeah speak in Korean. I hope you can understand uh, the situation, and uh, it's very nice to meet you. I or I yeah welcome you everyone, and I also yeah hope you you can achieve uh, whatever you want to do in Korea. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. And 고맙습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 이스라엘 교수님 이스라엘 교수님 uh, Hello. Okay, your yeah. turn. Sorry, I, I was outside, so I, I don't know if my camera is working correctly. The, is it fine? Yes, uh, I want to you uh, uh, provide a short message for your student, especially Korean, uh, global Korean studies. Okay, so uh, my name is Israel, but I'm not from Israel, I'm, I'm from Ethiopia. <laughs> and uh, I will be teaching some subjects within uh, the global Korean studies. So I welcome everybody to Kyungsung University. Welcome everyone. I see everybody is being maybe not here in Korea, uh, being uh, wherever you are, but hopefully things will get better and we'll see each other face to face, okay? Uh, so you'll find me in, in uh, global Korean department. Okay, nice meeting you all. 네, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs> Okay, and then Joseph or Alice? Yes, sir. So we will divide two small meeting room. First is professor's uh, meeting room. Our dean 
Hak Sung Kim professor will leave that uh, professor's room. And second, for Korean track students, so Alice will read that orientation only for Korean track. So our assistant will divide the two meeting room automatically. And now we will have a crime prevention lecture from Namu police office in Busan. Please welcome the policeman. Hello everyone. Um, I am really glad that you guys came to Korea for studying. My name is Officer Jung from Busan Nanpo Police Station. So I am going to conduct. <laughs> So um, today I'm going to explain to you guys a few things that you need to be careful while staying in Korea. Right now, under um, COVID-19 situation, um, you need you guys need to follow um, public order, like wearing your mask in public, and there is a limitation of number can cooking um, limitation of number can gather. At the same time, bars and restaurants will close at 2100. So, um, incident usually happens um, when you guys drink alcohol. So, drunk and disorderly. Oh, yes. So um, if you guys drink alcohol and really get drunk and make a mess in a public place, like theater, restaurant, train, car, extra, um, you will get fined. And it's going to be 100,000 won. Next, the neighborhood disturb disturbance. So, um, if you make too much noise that your neighbors find it really annoying, they can call the police and you guys can get a fine of um, 100,000 won for making too much noise, especially at night. Garbage dumping. So um, if you just throw away, um, like throw your garbage away anywhere, um, such as cigarette butts, gum, tissue, trash. Yeah, you will get fined as well. That's going to be 100,000 won of fine.
urinate on the street. Um, if you piss, um, if you urinate on the street, and if someone finds you, they are gonna absolutely call the police and report that someone is urinate, urinating on the street. And that's gonna be a fine of 100,000 won. Frank call. Um, if you harass someone else by sending text messages, letters, emails, several times without their consent, um, yeah, if they call the police that you are doing that kind of thing, um, you will get the fine of 100,000 won. Like this kind of thing on the presentation. Continuous harassment, um, yeah. This is mostly like, uh, same as talking. So if you keep asking someone else to like date you or yeah, if you keep contact um, someone else without their agreement, um, and if they report it to the police, fine of 100,000 won. Scalping tickets. So if you buy um, tickets for the concert, sports games, and any other like musical, and it's okay if you need to sell it because you cannot go, but if you buy a lot of tickets to make money and you will get the fine of 100, 200,000 won. So, and this is drunk and disorder in the public office. It usually goes to um, police patrol units and if you try to make a fight or make bad words to officials, like government officials, um, you will get the fine up to 600,000 won. And file a false report to 112. It means that you are calling the police and lying about what happened. Like you call the police and nothing happened. Uh, when nothing happened, it's a false report. So you might get the fine up to 600,000 won. This is the end of today's um, crime prevention class. But these kind of things are minor things. But if you try to fight someone or steal something, that's going to be really serious. You can, if you get, the, if, if you get caught, um, you will get the criminal record and fine, maybe even imprisonment. So you might want to go to another country to study more and you need to get the criminal background check. But your criminal record will be there. So you might not be able to get visa or, and even if, you're not, if you are not going to other countries, um, your visa might not be extended because of um, criminal back, criminal record. So you need to really be careful about that. But Korea is really safe country. So I hope you guys enjoy your life in Korea and do not make any troubles. You don't want to see police 
in your future. 이 정도 하면 될것 같은데요. 네. <웃음> 죄송합니다. 오케이, okay, thank you for our policeman. So our university have very good relationship with Nambu of police station. So if, if you guys arrive in Korea, we can help you at any other crime matters. And we have very good relationship with policeman. So yeah, please remember these things. So I will start this real orientation for freshmen. Hello, I'm Joseph from International Student Affairs. I'm so happy to meet you all. The real orientation will begin now. Let me introduce the employees of International Affairs. International Student Affairs handled your visa, hospital, insurance, and accident issue. We will respond quickly when you have a problem. Joseph, Leo, and Sojin are managing your living issue. The global education team is supporting your academic issue. They manage classes, course registration, professor related issue, graduation. Choi Young Bi, Alice, Baek Eun Jin, Rachel, and An Yu Jung. Are managing your bachelor's degree. Let me introduce the representative of international students. There are representative of each country and department of English tracks. Here are the representative of each country. Representative of Nepal, Sagal Panta, and Chawang Yampu. Are there representative of Nepal, Sagal, or Chawang? Okay, let's skip this. And representative of Bangladesh, Rayan Hussein and Nazmul Hussein. Okay, representative of India and Pakistan, Daud Ali. Representative of Uzbekistan, Karimov Asadullo, Ashilbek Yuldashev. Yes, I still make a last prayer. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our university. Thank you. Please remember the red Kakao Talk ID under the name and contact each representative when you have any issue. The important point is Kakao ID. If you guys have any problems, please text them via Kakao. Here are representative of each department. Representative of Business Administration, Bek Mijariyev Muhammad Jan. Are you here? Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Muhammad Jan Bek Mirzaev. Uh, I am representative for Business Administration. Uh, I'm student of BBA, and this is my last semester. Here you can see my cacao ID. If you uh, if you need any anything to ask, any help, you can uh, ask me anytime. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to our university. Thank you, representative of hospitality and tourism management, Manoj Pata. Next, representative of mechatronics engineering. Akar Swapon Kumar. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm Shapon. I'm from Bangladesh. And this is my last semester, though I all completed my credits. But uh, here is my Kakorok uh, ID. You can contact me if you have any problems or if you need any help. Thank you. Thank you, Swapon. So, Please remember the red Kakao ID under the name and contact each representative when you have any academic issue. So, 
This is the most important part of today. Everyone, please focus on this page. Kakao Talk is the most essential part of university life. All your problems can be communicated through Kakao Talk. Therefore, freshmen must sign up 100% on Kakao Talk. Installation of Kakao Talk application is essential to receive all important notice from Gyeongsang University. You will communicate with us through this messenger and manage your emergency situation. You should download Kakao Talk first, right? Search for Kakao Talk in Google Play Store or App Store. Enter your personal information and use Kakao Talk when you sign up. If you installed Kakao Talk, you can communicate with us in two ways. The first is Kakao Open Chat Room, and the second is Kakao Plus Friend. Look at the blue box first. Kakao Plus Friend. 101 Chat is available only Kakao Plus Friend. If you have any questions, you can inquire through Kakao Plus Friend. Next, look at the red box. Kakao Open Chat Room. Never, never send a message in this room. Since this is a group chat room with hundreds of students, you can only check the, the important notice. Let me introduce Kakao Plus Friends, where you can make one-on-one -on -one conversation. Look at the first picture. If you download Kakao Talk, you can check the yellow shape application. And look at the second picture. Click the shape on the upper right. Next, number three. If you search for KSU English track in the red box, that's it. Number four, click the circle button and send your name as student ID. Then you can ask your question like these pictures. From where? Only from Kakao Plus friend. Next. I'd like to talk about Kakao Open Chat Room. Never, never send any message here. Hundreds of professors and students here read only information. So please just check the notice. Click the link to access the Open Chat Room. The password is 5630. You can also see important announcement on Facebook. Search Gyeongsang University's Facebook page or access the link above to check the information. Okay, the most important explanation on Kakao Talk is over. From now on, I will tell you an important concept of Korean life. First is the deadline. All notices have deadlines. If you fail to meet the deadline of each notice, you will be responsible for all the consequences. Please meet the deadline. Second is hygiene management related to COVID-19. The COVID-19 situation is serious around the world. Although Korea is an excellent country for quarantine management, let's always try to wash our hands. Also, you should always wear a mask. In Korea, you can be fined for not wearing a mask. Please be alert to wearing a mask. Third, please study Korean from now on. It would be helpful to study Korean since you came to Korea. You will get a much more inclusive and kind responsive when you approach using Korean. It's very good tip, so please remember these things also. So, next is the precautions for living in Korea. You are an adult who has to take legal responsibility in Korea life. Please be aware of following and hope you don't have any legal problems. First thing is 
part-time job. International students can do part-time job in Korea. Doing the part-time job without permission is definitely illegal. If you are detected by working without permission from immigration office, you need to pay penalty fees up to 10 billion won. In the picture on the right, a fine of 3 million won was illegally issued because they didn't receive a part-time permit. And students are not allowed to work in manufacturing and construction industry. If you get caught, you need to leave Korea right away. So, if you want to have a part-time job in Korea, please come to our, our office and then fill out the application form. Our team will help you to apply this part-time job. Second, changing address. If you have moved a new place, you should report off your changed address within 14 days. Penalty fees starting from 100,000 won will impose if you don't report within 14 days. Let's see how to register new address. Step 1. Please bring your alien card and copy of signed house contract. Step 2. Along with your prepared requirements, please visit Namgu District Vessel. Please refer to information below regarding the address change. We will share this PPT page to uh, you guys, so please refer to these all pages. Now, next, Leo, the most handsome in the international community, will explain campus life. Thank you. Hi, this is Leo, a step of International Student Affairs. I'm going to be introducing about your campus life. Insurance. I would have to point out the insurance section. Please keep in mind that all international students must have insurance during their stay in Korea. Let me give you the details. There are two different types of insurance. First, having insurance from university. We call it just school insurance. Another one is national insurance, which is provided by Korean government. As you know, Korea is well known for the country which has high quality of medical service. Those insurance will help you to reduce your financial burden. Okay, this is how, to, how you make the claim. You're able to get refund for the hospital expenses you paid. It can be a little bit complicated, but you don't need to be worried because our office is supposed to be with you to make this. <clears throat> right, everyone, you know what makes our university better? It is perfect location. We have a good accessibility and amenities as well. Hospitals are also located nearby the campus so that you will get well medical service anytime. If you get in trouble with the, any health problem, please let us know. Right, let's look up inside of the campus. There are a few facilities that I love to introduce to you. First of all, the Global Lounge. At the Global Lounge, students can be a part of various programs which organized by international affairs. Also, you can spend time with your friends at there. Next, two computer rooms are provided to the student. It was made for helping studying as well as their convenience. It is located different building, so make sure to get right one. Some of them are a lunch DVD player. If you like to watch a movie, this is fit for you. The facility for health and sports. KSU Health Center is in impression with the purpose for a healthy college life. Let me introduce what sports you can do. Okay, we have, we got team, swimming pool, and squash court. But keep in mind that in order to use membership registration, it is required. Okay, when you come to university, you will have cafe, cafeteria, convenience store.
Okay, yeah, I just brought the picture for you. Okay, this is the useful store list. And let me move on to the dormitory. Our university offers this place to the students. However, unfortunately, it does not run in due to COVID virus. Okay, that will be all for me. And I believe that there's a lot of questions you have. If you have any inquiries, please contact through Kakao channel or your representative. Okay, thanks for everyone. And uh, after me, academic part will be started. So the Office of Global Education will take for that. Thanks again. Hello, this is Amini from the Office of Global Education. Nice to meet you. I would like to share academic issues. This is the academic calendar. First semester already starts till last Wednesday, and there will be midterm exam in November. Final exam will be conducted in December. As you already know, you can check your class schedule in portal. In order to log in, you have to know your student ID number. So please check the, the orientation file we send you before. If you, if you didn't get anything, just ask on KSU Global Education. When we enter portal ID, please put A in front of a student number. And when you enter password, put at KS after entering student number. Please remember that. So you can log in here. If you fo follow this procedure, you can check class schedule, click student information, course information, and personal class schedule. When you join the Zoom, first of all, please check class schedule and professor's name and match professor's name and Zoom code. And some students are confused about reading the class schedule. For example, if the class schedule says Thursday 6, 7, 8, it does not mean Thursday 6, 7, 8 p.m. or 6, 7, 8 a.m. It means from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. To make it easier, just add 7 in the number and think, think it as time. And if you, if you upset the class more than 33%, you will get F grade automatically. So please do not upset. And next, let me introduce LMS. LMS is a platform where professors can upload important notice and class materials for students. Through LMS, students can also ask questions and get responses from professors. If you follow this procedure, you can see the courses that you have to register this semester. And you can raise your opinion here. Lastly, I would like to share course curriculum of each major. All students have to take a total 133 credits to graduate. This is competition of credits of Global Business Administration. And Global Hospitality Management is also the same. But Mechatronic Engineering students is a little bit different. They have to take more credits in major instead of elective general education. And students in Global Business Administration and Global Hospitality Management can take maximum 18 credits each in May. 
ET semester. But if you get more than 4.2 grades previous semester, you can take maximum 21 credits. And mechatronics engineering students can take maximum 20 credits each semester. But if you can more, if you get more than 4.2 graded previous semester, you can take maximum 23 credits. And next is scholarship policy. There are there are three requisites for uh, your scholarship. First, your earned credit for the previous semester must be 16 or more. Second, GPA 2.0 or above should be achieved. Third, have medical insurance. Fourth, fulfilling the requirements such as medical checkup, the inspection survey, one-on-one -on -one consultation, group consultation. Depending on your GPA you have achieved from previous semester, your percentage of scholarship would be different. This is the chart of scholarship policy. If you want to check detail, please contact us through Kakaoto. Due to the time limit, we would like to take questions through Kakaoto. As we mentioned a lot, the most important thing is Kakaoto. So please install it right now. This is, this is the end of our 2021 for semester orientation. Thank you for all freshmen students and hope having wonderful campus life. Thank you so much. Hello guys, so official all program orientation program is finished. So you can guys leave this chat room and if you guys have any questions please contact us via Kakao Talk because here are a lot of students, around 170 students. So we cannot apply each, each student's question from now. So please text us via Kakao. And you guys, if you don't know how to join Kakao Talk, we will share the link, Kakao Talk link and Facebook link, this chat room. So please refer our chat, chat room first. So for now, you guys can leave this meeting room. All program, orientation program is finished. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And I hope you see in Korea. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. See you soon. Bye.